Chris Sonorato and Brian Mariano with you here on Big Board Sports 104.5, the team ESPN Radio. The Mets are playing a matinee as well as the Yankees' 110 start. It's, it'll be Syndergaard against Aaron Nola. No one was really good in the opener for Philadelphia, but Gabe Kapler pulled him pretty early against the Braves, uh, only through 60-some pitches. Uh, so we'll see. Nola should be, should be fresh and ready to go here against Syndergaard. And as you know, look, for me... Don't look so much at Syndergaard's ERA right now. It's an even six. He had 10 strikeouts uh, in that season opener for New York. He looks like he's healthy. Back to being his dominant self. Wayne Randazzo is with us here on Big Board Sports and 104.5, the team ESPN Radio. I know Mickey Calloway is about 15 minutes or so away from speaking to the media. So, Wayne, we'll, uh, we'll make sure you are in time for that press conference. First of all, thanks so much for taking the time with us here this morning in Albany. Chris Sonorato and Brian Mariano with you here. How are you? I'm great, guys. How are you? We're good as well. Um, go Take me back to opening day, if you would. What did you see from Noah Syndergaard? Like I said, I know the ERA is not pretty this early on, but the 10 strikeouts, and he looks, at least watching on TV, looks like he's healthy. What have you observed about Syndergaard early on this year? Yeah, I think the stuff was there. You know, he gave up a couple of home runs, uh, some balls that were up in the plate, really a ball that Yadier Molina kind of just hooked uh, down the left field line for a home run, so... I think he's able to shake those off and, and take a look at the 10 strikeouts, the fact that he didn't walk anybody and that you know his stuff was really sharp. Uh, I think he's feeling good, and he'll be ready to go today. And Matt Harvey last night looked good as well, and, and I, I, I kind of laughed just when Harvey made the comment, Wayne, that, you know, look, we're, we're going to surprise some people. The, the problem with that is when you tell people you're going to surprise them, they aren't really all that surprised. And I think people have known, look, if this pitching staff is, stays healthy – they're no doubt a, a, a playoff contending team. Uh, how about Harvey last night, the five shutout innings uh, against the Phillies in his first start of the year? Yeah, it looked great. You know, it was a big difference getting more swings and misses on his fastball. Uh, he's locating well. You know, they, they only got him two times through the order. Uh, didn't really want to push him in his first start, especially considering that, you know, I think confidence is a big deal for Matt. So, uh, you know, I think the Mets have to be extremely pleased with how he looked yesterday and you know if he can step up and have a great season well that just makes this team uh, e- even tougher to beat when you know the pitching is always kind of the talk for when it comes to the Mets with the the big three but then with the addition this year of Adrian Gonzalez and Todd Frazier how have they helped especially some of the younger guys on this roster get off to kind of a quicker start than we thought this Mets team could yeah I think the Mets needed some veteran presence you know they traded so many of their veterans last season uh, there wasn't a whole lot of leadership in the clubhouse at the end of last year. But, um, you know, I think that Frazier was an important piece. You know, he's a guy who's really active in the clubhouse, a guy who's bouncing around a lot in there. And, uh, you know, Adrian Gonzalez, you know, that, that's a tremendous pedigree that he brings with him to the table, too. So uh, I, I think both of them can add a lot inside the clubhouse. And, you know, whatever you get on the field from Gonzalez, I think, is a bonus at this point. Uh, you know, I think the Mets kind of feel like he's a stopgap right now and and they hope Dom Smith can be uh able to show them that he's ready to be a, a full-time big leaguer. Wayne Randazzo with us here on Big Board Sports and 104.5 the team ESPN Radio Chris Sonorato and Brian Mariano in for Roger Wyland this week. Uh Wayne, how about the manager Mickey Callaway? He he seems like kind of uh a new age type of manager, is that fair to say? I mean, no managerial experience coming in. Feels like kind of a, a player's guy. What about his temperament uh, do you believe fits maybe this market uh, and also this team best? Yeah, I think you know, they wanted a guy who could communicate better with the players that was a, a little closer in age to them. I think he's only 42. Uh, you know, he's a guy that uh, is pretty laid back in general. Um, and, and has a great pitching background, which I think was important to them, too. You know, Not that they were searching for a manager who used to be a pitching coach when they got the search rolling, but I think they found that you know, how successful Mickey was as a pitching coach, that he would be a pretty good fit to, to be the manager as well. So uh, you know, there's, a lot of teams are, are skewing younger with their managerial experience, uh, want guys who can loosen up the clubhouse and, and keep things rolling over 162 games you know joe madden even though he's an older guy you know he's able to do that and i think that's uh, you know part of the intrigue about the cubs is that they can day in and day out just relax and have fun and play and uh, over the course of a long season that's uh, an important thing so you 
know, they hope Mickey can continue that on as, as he has to this point. Speaking of new managers, what do you make of Gabe Kapler so far? Uh, mentioned just leading into you here that Aaron Nola will go today, and, and he should be fresh considering how quickly uh, he was pulled in that season opener. What do you make of, of Kapler so far in Philadelphia? Yeah, I mean, certainly some controversy over the way he handled the bullpen the first three games. You know, yesterday was uh, a lot more traditional. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't experience anything unusual. You know, I'm sure that Gabe Kapler and the Phillies management got together over the off day and uh, or two off days as it turned out, and and were able to get a little bit better plan. Uh, you know, a, a rookie manager is going to have bumps in the road. You know, Gabe Kapler might turn out to be a, a, a very fine major league manager. Uh, you might look back at, at this first weekend as just growing pains. And, uh, you know, maybe now he can kind of get uh, a little bit better vision of what he needs to do and, and make the Phillies uh, take the next step, which is what they're trying to do. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too crazy about what happened opening weekend. But, you know, if it continues to be a trend, well, the, you know, maybe the Phillies have to start looking at whether or not they made a mistake or not. Wayne, I've met friends around me who are going nuts over this start, right? You know, game or half game behind Washington, only four games in. But we're, what do you have for realistic expectations for this Mets team that you've seen so early in the year? Well, I think this is a team that can compete for a playoff spot, whether that's with Washington or whether that's the wild card, you know, remains to be seen. Uh, certainly, that some of that will depend on how the Mets play against the Nationals. And they have their first series this weekend, so you know I don't I don't think it's unrealistic at all to expect this Mets team to be there at the end and and to have a say in in whether or not they'll be a playoff team. So uh, it's just a matter of health and and not even the fact that everybody has to stay healthy. That's not the case. They just need a reasonable amount of health. They just need to be on average with the rest of Major League Baseball. If they can at least get that, then I, I think this team has the opportunity to win a lot of games. Wayne, I know you've got to run. Uh, appreciate the time this morning ahead of Mickey Callaway's press conference and obviously the uh, the 1 o'clock start at City Field uh, today against the Phillies. Uh, hope it clears up down there the way it's supposed to up here. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.